Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gents. Are you ready to let's play Seven Days of Skeptic? I am. So let's start. So, yeah, Seven Days of Skeptic is the sequel to Five Days of Stranger, a game which I let's played a couple of weeks ago. And I think it's a really good game. Some of it's pretty scary, I've got to say. And, um, it's like the first game, except basically over seven days instead of five days. Doesn't take a genius to work that out. And you are on a spaceship in the future. Ooh, scary. This is actually a really scary game, but we'll get into that later. It's not scary yet. So, anyway, let's get started with this, and they're all like, yeah, yeah, good enough in the 23rd century, it's good enough today. Picture available, let's see the picture. Yeah, there it is. Ta-da! Yeah, so, this is the scout ship, Mustafa, and the Earth date is 27th of July, something or other, I don't know. And you're in the Caracas Galaxy, something that isn't important. All systems running normally, that's always good. <laughs> Won't be soon. Ben Yahtzee Croshaw presents. Seven days a skeptic. Sometimes I get the feeling that I don't belong here. I mean, I'm here on the ship, surrounded by all these veterans. And I'm terrified that someone will notice me and say I'm on the wrong ship. I keep having this weird dream that I'm in a room full of people with green skin. And they just watch me, wondering what I'm doing there. And then one of the green people turns around, and he's my father. My father. Does that distress you? Not really, although I do feel kind of embarrassed. What do you think, John? What do I think? William, I think you're just letting things get on top of you. I mean, ship's position on an exploratory scout ship, that's a pretty heavy first posting. He now expects you to do anything other than your job. I suppose you're right. I'm a counsellor. I'm always right. <laughs> Heh. Well, sorry to have barged in on you like that. Oh, don't worry. That's what I'm here for. I'd better get back to sick bay. Thanks, John. So, yeah. You are John on a spaceship and you are a counsellor. Oh, this is a ship's wide announcement. All personnel report to the conference room on the ops deck. Nice. By order of Captain Che Hal. Sounds like some kind of curry or something. Oh, hey John. Adam, what's this all about? Beats me. Maybe someone died. Right then, boys and girls, Serena and I have a little announcement to make it something we th think you should all know about. I thought you were already married. Yes, yes, very witty. Fact is, the scanners have picked up something floating in open space. Something manufactured. Serena? Thank you, Captain. If I could draw your attention to the tabletop. The object is constructed of a metallic alloy and seems to be rectangular in shape. Oh wow, first contact. Let's not get too excited. It's more likely to be a human artifact left adrift for a long time. What else do we know about it? It seems to be some kind of container. 
Light sort of size to be a cryonic escape pod. Sensors don't show any life signs inside it, though. Did you inform High Command? Yes, sir. Then recommended we drop a beacon and leave it for a fully equipped research vessel. Just a recommendation, not a direct order. Yes, sir, but... Adam, use the grappling claw to bring it into the cargo bay. It'll be in range for the next few hours. Right, oh, Chief. Okay, everyone else can go back to what they were doing. We'll let you know if we need any of you for anything. Just a minute, John. What do you think of this? I guess I won't know what to think till it's bought in. Yes, yes, quite. You know I'm going to need you there when we're examining it. No, I didn't know that. Come on, John, this is basic procedure. You should know this. This is potentially a first contact scenario. Regulations say qualified psychologists must be on hand for first contact scenarios. Okay, sure, but I'm not sure what use I'd be. You really need to stop depreciating yourself. Adam should be done bringing it in soon. Stop my my quarters for a chat if you like. Help pass the time. Okay. So. No. Oh. What am I doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, so let's ring the panel. Why the hell not? Who is it? It's John, Barry. Ah, John, do come in. What's on your mind? Do you need me yet? No, not yet. We'll page you when you're, we're ready. Why don't you catch up with some work in your office while you're waiting? Well, I should get back to work. Drop in any time you want to talk. It's not like I have much else to do. So yeah, let's go down and check the files. Which are in my office, which is here. If you remember. But we will do that next time because it's quite a long cutscene in shoes after that. So I'll see you then.